Hey guys, welcome back. In previous video, we have seen how to calibrate a Raspberry Pi camera using the chessboard marker. And also we have verified the accuracy of this calibrated camera using pose estimation of a Urco marker. And now we are going to move ahead with getting into more details with Urco marker. And in this video, we are going to see exactly what Urco markers are, how they are generated, decoded, and some different Urco dictionaries. And then we'll write a Python or C++ code and see how to use them along with OpenCV for different robotic applications. And few examples of these applications are uh, BVLOS uh, system, that is uh, Beyond Visual Line of Sight uh, drone applications, uh, in which uh, uh, the applications are like uh, logistic uh, delivery, food delivery, medical, and etc. So we can achieve centimeter uh, level of uh, precision while the auto landing of the aircraft which is beyond uh, our sight or what we can say beyond uh, line of sight uh, without the requirement of uh, RTK GPS and one more example is uh, indoor autonomous navigation of uh, ground robots or aerial robots in the GPS denied uh, situations so we'll uh, see the full-fledged demonstration of these applications in upcoming videos so let's get started Let's move towards the basics of Urco markers. So Urco stands for Augmented Reality University of Cordoba, developed in 2014. An Urco marker is a synthetic square marker which is an internal binary uh, matrix uh, which is enclosed within a white black color border with a unique identifier. This unique identifier can be called as or you can say it as the index ID of that particular Urco marker. And here you can see different Orco markers with different uh, Orco dictionaries and different index IDs. And this internal binary matrix is used or used for the representation or getting the identification of a particular Orco marker. Now consider this Orco marker from uh, the original Orco dictionary which has a strong black border for easier identification. So this is the uh, black border and this black border is used for the identification and it is classified into 7 cross 7 grid so it has rows and columns uh, and the blocks uh, are of uh, equal dimensions and as we remove this black border it will get converted to a 5 cross 5 grid so here uh, we have the black border and if we remove that black border it will get converted to this 5 cross 5 that is 1 2 3 4 and 5 for getting index ID of the marker with a 5 cross 5 grid, it consists of parity bits which is used for error correction techniques and data bits to get index IDs. Column 2 and column 4 are data bits and remaining uh, blocks are parity bits. Black represents 0 and white represents 1. So now we can uh, convert this binary data into decimal to obtain the Orco marker index ID. So uh, this is uh, just for illustration or the traditional method. Uh, this uh, conversion takes place into OpenCV. So this is just for reference. So this is the mathematical structure for converting uh, a binary data into decimal. So it starts from like a 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. So it starts from this column 2 to column 4. That is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So uh, here it is uh, uh, calculated and the index ID uh, is uh, 65. So now uh, let's move towards the uh, generation, how Orco markers are generated and how they are uh, detected. In order to generate an Orco marker and then print it on a paper and use it for different applications, there are two ways in which uh, you can do that. The first thing is uh, using this generate image marker function. And the second method is using this Urco marker generator. So this is open source and free Urco marker generator. Here we just have to mention the uh, Urco marker dictionary that we are planning to use. That is uh, 4 cross 4, 5 cross 5, 6 cross 6. And this original Urco marker dictionary is a 7 cross 7 uh, dictionary. Uh, and uh, it has around 1000 uh, maximum number of index IDs means it can support. And the second uh, thing here is marker ID. So here I can change this marker ID depending on what I want to use like 30, 29, 12 or anything. And the marker size in mm. So it depends on the paper that you are using. So if I want to print it bigger, so I'll put it here like 200. So the size of the marker will uh, change according to that. And uh, here then you can save it or just print it. 
and coming uh, back to this marker creation uh, using this generate image marker function in this uh, code we have to mention this uh, two parameters the first uh, thing is uh, 6 by 6 underscore 250 so this is the orco marker dictionary uh, that is 6 by 6 bits and 250 is the maximum number of index id that it can support and uh, 23 is the index id number or the identifier number and 200 is the uh, width of the orco marker that is 200 by 200 in mm and one is the width of the uh, boundary of the orco marker so here this is the black boundary and if it is one so it will be equal to the bit slow like if it is one then it will be equivalent to one bit of the internal block if it is two then it will be more uh, thicker and twice uh, the bit like it will be like uh, two bits and uh, here this uh, generated file it will be saved in the form of .png format so this is a pretty simple uh, uh, method in which you can generate the orco marker uh, uh, mostly i prefer this uh, online generator it's uh, simple and uh, fast now let's move to the final step that is marker detection so whenever a data or the video source is being fetched to the algorithm the algorithm tries to analyze the uh, frames and it tries to find out the square shape of the orco marker and as we know orco marker has a strong black uh, border so it becomes more easier for the algorithm to detect the square shape and once the shape is being confirmed the algorithm uh, goes uh, to the internal binary matrix where we have the data bit and the parity bit so data bit will give the id of the marker and the parity bit will uh, provide uh, information if any error correction technique has to be uh, applied and here we have uh, the workflow or the process for uh, detecting orco markers the first thing is uh, input image so in our case we are using a uh, raspberry pi so the input source will be the video so the frames of the video will be analyzed by the algorithm and the second step is appropriate uh, orco dictionary so here we have to be very specific while using uh, the specific uh, orco uh, dictionary if you are going with 5 cross 5 uh, bits of matrix and we want to uh, detect some uh, 4 cross 4 so that won't be possible we have to be specific with what we are uh, mentioning in the code and the third step is orco parameters so the parameters like corners ids and the rejected points all these uh, parameters uh, has to be uh, uh, structured or framed in the format form of like an object we have to create an object in the code and the fourth step here is performing orco marker detection on input images so the process of what we have seen here uh, is being performed here i have this code and uh, the first section here is the input section where we have numpy cv2 and orco uh, whenever uh, we'll be working with uh, cv2 we'll have this numpy that is numerical python for uh, numerical operations and then uh, here comes the uh, input source in our case we'll be using the webcam of this laptop for detecting the orco marker this is just for demonstration purpose and uh, in further videos uh, we'll be using raspberry pi for that and if you don't want to print the orco marker uh, on a paper and you have some images stored on your laptop then you can just give the path uh, or mention the path over here uh, to that uh, particular uh, image and uh, the, uh, this algorithm will work on that for the detection and then uh, frames are being read here then the frames are being converted to grayscale it becomes uh, very uh, easy for when the frames are being converted to grayscale for the detection purpose and then the orco marker uh, dictionary is mentioned here so we are going to detect the marker uh, with four cross four uh, matrix and the maximum uh, size of the id it can detect is 100 so it will detect from 0 to 99 and uh, then uh, we have to create an object for the parameters here so these are the uh, parameters and then the last thing is uh, frame markers so whatever uh, the part we have detected we have to locate so we have to draw boundary and mention the id of that particular marker so here draw detect uh, marker uh, is being used and then we have to show uh, the detected uh, frame marker over here 
and uh, that's it for this uh, so this is a very basic uh, code just for detection of the orco marker so if you have some uh, different marker or you want to detect many markers in a single frame so you can add as much uh, uh, orco dictionaries you want to do here so what i'll do now i'll just run this code and we'll see uh, i'll be having here uh, two markers uh, that is one with the id 23 and other with uh, 57 but uh, the marker with 57 ID is of 5 cross 5 matrix and the other is of 4 by uh, 4 matrix. So let's see how it detects. Okay. So uh, this is uh, a 5 cross 5 matrix of our co marker and you can see it's not uh, detecting and here we have the orco marker with index id 23 and it's detecting so it can detect as many markers it uh, it can uh, spot in this frame so uh, this is the simple demonstration on how this detection uh, techniques uh, can be carried out you can just try out this uh, code and uh, try to uh, use this code with uh, some uh, application and uh, that's all for this video and in the next video we are going to see how to use these orco markers for precision learning so we'll uh, use the drone and these orco markers and make the drone land uh, with centimeter level of precision on these orco markers